Back-to-back -back losses to start the season. It's tough to make sense of it, but we're going to try to. Look, this Jaguars team has problems, and I'm pointing the finger at the offense. For back-to-back -back weeks, the Jaguars defense has held the Dolphins and the Browns to 20 points and 18 points. So you mean to tell me the Jaguars offense could just score 20 or more points? Well, they couldn't do it. The NFL average last season was 21.8 points per game. So that makes the Jaguars offense below average. That's a problem. It's just not good enough, folks. It becomes a bigger problem when you want promotions like Trevor Bank Stadium. It just seems a little tone deaf. They were coming off an ugly loss in week one where Trevor and the offense didn't exactly play well. I get the idea for the promo was probably in the works well before the start of the season, but all it did was give the Browns extra bulletin board material. Yes, they heard about it. And yes, Miles Garrett even mentioned it after the game. So this is real. There are already different levels of expectations for Trevor. He's the face of the franchise. He got the big old contract this offseason. He knows it. There's expectations everywhere. So you put the guy's name on the side of the building for the day, and then at halftime he had 16 yards passing. No, I didn't get confused by his number. He only had 16 yards passing at the break. That's it total. And that wasn't because the running game was dominating or anything like that. It was just because the Jaguars' offense looked uh, basically non-existent. It was just that bad. So, how do they fix it? What's the solution? Look, honestly, there's a simple answer to just play better, but it is just a simple fix. That's easy, and if it was easy as said as it is done, they'd have just done that during the game. It's not that simple, folks. The defense will say things like they need to force turnovers, and yeah, that'd be great, but the defense has done enough. The work needs to be done on the offensive side of the ball, and I hear fans asking about play calling, but honestly, who calling the plays doesn't move me because there's enough blame to go around for Press and Doug. They both get it. What does the Jaguars' offense do well? Please tell me. I'm asking because I don't know. This team feels like it doesn't have an identity. So how do they first fix it? Well, first, Brian Thomas Jr. has got to be a bigger part of this offense. I know he dropped the pass against the Browns, and, but there's got to be more of a focus on putting the ball in that guy's hands. He's a walking spark for a team that needs a spark. But in order to take those shots, Jaguars offensive line has to give Trevor time. And that doesn't happen very often. The Jaguars kind of gambled. They ran it back with basically the same O-line from last year, plus Mitch Morse. And right now that gamble isn't really paying off. It was kind of a bad idea. But watching these games, I don't think the blame is on them. According to the Next Gen Stats, Trevor has an average of 2.79 to throw nine seconds to throw on each play. That's right about in the middle of the pack in the NFL. And it's more time than Patrick Mahomes gets. It's more time than Josh Allen gets. It's more time than Joe Burrow gets. So maybe you're starting to see where I'm going with this. It's really easy to point the finger at the guy in the trenches. We do that all the time. But maybe it's the guy throwing the ball with a huge contract that needs to take a little bit more of the blame. You have to ask yourself, week one of the game, it's on the line. The Jaguars were spiraling, and Trevor hardly threw the ball in the second half. Doug Peterson is a former quarterback, and he's been known for getting a little pass heavy. Instead, he took the ball out of Trevor's hands. Then this week, 16 yards passing at halftime. He should get 16 yards on one play. This guy just flat out has to play better. The Jaguars are trying to get on the right track, and if they're going to do it, the guy whose name was on the side of the stadium today, he's got to be better than he was today. It's really that simple. He is paid to be the guy, and right now he's just being a guy. And he can't do that if the Jaguars are going to be successful. Honestly, it's really that simple. We'll see what Trevor Lawrence does the rest of the year, but what he does is going to dictate how the Jaguar season goes. 